Hey everyone, Josh Smith with GotToBeMobile.com. Today I'm going to show you 25 more hidden iOS 7 features. These work on the iPhone 5S, 5, 4S, 4, and on the iPad running iOS 7. So some of these will be specific to iPads, some will work on everything. Let's dive right in. We didn't include this in our original one, but something that a lot of users want to know is what's up with this thing that appears when they swipe up? So this is Control Center. It's new in iOS 7. It's one of the showcase features. But we've heard from users who couldn't find it right away or didn't know what it was. So when you swipe up, you get Control Center. Here you can control airplane mode, a lot of your device features, screen brightness, audio playback, airdrop, a lot of things. And there's also access to a flashlight, which users will like. You can have this on from the lock screen for fast access to a flashlight. Siri also has some new features. So if we hold down our home button, turn Bluetooth off. We can control okay, device settings and other items. And there's also a lot of other new Siri uh, settings and features that you can change. So check out the original video to see those in action. Another cool thing, if you use the default mail app, Say you delete something, so we're going to send this to trash. Oh, I don't want to do that. Shake it, and you can undo sending it to trash. Similar to that, you can shake to undo the uh, messages or type typing when you're sending a message or something like that. Another cool feature is in Apple Maps, you can actually go with night mode. So we're in night mode right now, and it is configured to be easier on your eyes while you are driving at night. So that's a handy feature to have there. Next up, if you if your phone's always in your pocket and you want to know who's calling, even when your phone is on silent or vibrate, you can set a custom ringtone. So two ways to do this. Easiest way is to go into contacts, pick your contact, hit edit, and then you'll see you have a ringtone and a vibration. You can set a vibration for phone calls or text messages. Scroll down to the bottom, tap create a new vibration, and then just hold down on the screen. And so you can create something specific to that caller so you know what the vibration is, or you know who the caller is, before you even take the phone out of your pocket. Another nice feature in Calendar is if you create an event and say, hey, I need to move this event, I'm going to tap and hold, and I can actually drag it earlier in the day, later in the day, or I can move it over different days by holding it to the side, similar to how you move apps around. So that's a quick way to move your stuff around in Calendar. Another handy feature if you want a more visual alert when you're getting a phone call, you can actually head into your settings and there is a way to make the flash actually go off when you get an alert. So under accessibility, LED flash for alerts. Now if I get a phone call or something, the flash is going to go off. It's really bright. It's not, it's not subtle like you might see for some different um, Android phones or things like that. So use at your own risk. Another cool feature, if you have a car that has uh, Bluetooth connectivity, you may need to turn on its ability to read messages. So here I have Sync, Ford Sync. I'm not connected, and what I want to do is I want to tap that I that's over here and make sure Show Notifications is turned on. On our device, this was turned off by default. Turn it on, start your car again, and it should read stuff back to you, which is handy while you are driving. Another cool thing that's embedded down here in your settings, if you go down to Safari, which is right down here, we can go to Passwords and Autofill, and we can actually have it save our names and passwords, and have it store credit cards and other information. So it's a nice way, so the stuff is always filled out for you. You don't have to constantly type the same information in. Another handy feature is the ability to customize the notification center. So the notification center has a lot of new stuff, especially on this today screen. And if you're not interested in stocks, or you don't want to know stuff like that, you can turn these things off 
and you won't see them there, they won't get in your way or anything like that. It's a handy little feature. In iOS 6, there was the ability to quickly type a .com while you were using the web browser or entering email address. It's no longer on here, but if you hold down the period, you'll get .com all the way through these other various web addresses. So it's a handy way to gain one quick feature back that you need to have if you enter a lot of emails and stuff like that. So with AirDrop, if you head into your photos, find a photo you want to share, tap the share icon, and then AirDrop. If there's someone nearby running iOS 7 on a compatible device, they'll show up there. You can quickly share photos with them. Handy way to send items like that. Another quick feature takes us right back into contacts and here we've already set our custom vibration. Well, we can also set custom ringtones and custom text tones so you can find one of these or you can buy some in the app store if you need uh, something that's not there. Safari has a couple other nice little hidden features. If we actually drop down into this open book area here, so you have your bookmarks and you have the reading list that you've done but if you go to at you can see the people you follow on Twitter links they share will show up here so that you're able to see them and drop in there and then there's also a lot of other nifty stuff in there another cool feature is iTunes radio so we covered how to get more diversity in iTunes radio and the other thing that you might want is the ability to see your station history. So this is something that, here we pop into history, and it looks like we're saying we don't have anything here. If I've played this on the computer, I've seen history there, so you might need it to go to your computer to see this, but if you hear a great song on your way home from work, you didn't see what it was, or you need to remember the exact title, go to your history, and you can then buy it from there. For the next one, we want to jump back over to the iPad. And with the iPad keyboard, so this isn't brand new, but so our keyboard here is on the bottom. If we want to type on it, we can actually make our keyboard split, and then we can move it around on the screen. And so with this, it's easier to type with your thumbs if you have to hold your iPad while you're standing up. Another nice feature, if you're on the phone and you want to quickly switch between devices, this little AirPlay icon will let you pick between Bluetooth, iPhone, and speakerphone while you're on a call so you don't have to exit. That's handy if your, your device is locked and you're on a phone call and you need to quickly switch connections. You don't have to unlock or do anything like that. It just goes right there. Here's a personal favorite. If you deal with people in multiple time zones, Traditionally, it's going to show this analog clock. Analog clocks are eh, not my favorite. So if you tap there, you can see this, and you can see where they are. So Cupertino, or Pacific Time, is three hours behind me here in Ohio. Next up, there's a new way in this Photos app to share stuff faster and easier. So if we hop over to this Photos tab, we end up with these moments. So you can jump out all the way to collections or years, but eventually you narrow down and you start to see stuff and say, okay, I want to share this iPhone 5S line event with everyone that I know. So I can tap share and then I can share this moment and it'll share all of those via iCloud. Handy way to quickly share a group of photos with friends or family. Another handy feature on the iPad takes place right down here so if you need to type an apostrophe real quick and you don't want to jump over by pressing the number button here you can actually hold down the comma and type an apostrophe another feature that not everyone knows about is on the iPhone headphones you can actually push the buttons not just for volume up and down but the middle you can press once to pause or play you can double tap it to skip a track and you can hold it to activate Siri. So that's a nice way to uh, use your iPhone while you're jogging. 
and stuff like that. In the calendar, another feature you used to have this easy access to a scrollable list of all your upcoming events. It's still there. Just tap the search icon up here and you get all this information that you can scroll through into the future. Fast way to see your information. With Safari private browsing, it's there, it's just hidden a little bit. So when you go into Safari, tap your tabs icon and then tap private and you can pull up a basically an incognito mode that allows you to do what you need to do without saving that on the screen and finally our last tip is that you can hide newsstand if you don't use newsstand you don't like that new icon whatever the case may be you can now drop it in a folder you can even put it on a page out of sight on that folder so that it's not even going to show up in your in your vision ever. So that's a quick look at 25 hidden iOS 7 features. This is the second edition. Be sure to go check out the first edition and go to guidemobile.com to check out everything you need to know about the iPhone, iPad, and iOS 7.